Hello everyone, we're uh, on our way to Olino State Park. We're going to go to the Alligator Warrior Fest. It's supposed to be a Seminole Indian battle reenactment. We're driving through Olino State Park. It's awful nice, heavily wooded. Again, October in North Florida. Everything's still green. There's a turtle. There's a turtle on the road. Well, we're heading into the campground. It's a uh, okay. pretty skinny lime rock road. Wouldn't want to be driving a big fifth wheel. Olino State Park is over 6,000 acres along the Santa Fe River. We had campsite number 17. These are black walnuts. Every once in a while, one will land on top of the RV. And boom! It's pretty nice. It's about noon and pretty much fully shaded. What are you drinking? Beer from... Alpatter. Alpatter. Brewing in Lake City. Yes. Alpatter was named after a Seminole Indian chief and brews beers with local names like Olino Cream Ale. The area of the Santa Fe River has been traveled for unknown generations. One of the first European roads went through the area from St. Augustine to Pensacola. We're at Alino State Park on a bridge that goes over the Santa Fe River. It's a little swimming area up there. Say hi to the camera. Hi, hi camera. <laughs> We're going to start hiking the river trail. The area is covered with beautiful forest of oak, pine, cypress, palms, and lots of understory. This is a longleaf pine going all the way up to the top. There he is. How many rings are in the bottom of this tree? Way more than I can count. The Santa Fe River goes underground for three miles through limestone caverns. The Santa Fe comes in from there and must just go underwater here for a couple miles. It may seem calm, but that is 900 million gallons of water a day, which is 625,000 gallons a minute, or 10,417 gallons a second going underground. All right, we're still on the river trail, but we've veered off from the river, and now we're just in a nice forest with palmettos. So fire and pine forests go together and have always gone together. It's pretty artificial not to have fires come through these pines every few years. The Alligator Warrior Festival features 1830s era Florida militia and Seminole Indian groups that reenact the Battle of San Falasco Hammock, which was part of the Second Seminole War in 1832. Check out Wikipedia for more information. Live action battle footage follows. Hammock, 
and the soldier that was wounded here. An unknown number of Seminole warriors were killed and wounded in this action as well. Now boys, when I yell fire, <laughs> we'll do just like the regular soldiers and y'all pull the triggers at the same time. Really? Yes. Ready. Aim. Fire. Cover arms. Just an arm. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving our site in Olino River Rise State or Park. We had a really nice time. We had some nice company. Rhonda's sister and her husband came to visit yesterday. We really enjoyed the Alligator Warrior Festival. Rhonda, what was your favorite thing? My favorite thing was the hike around the river. It was really pretty and seeing the where the river ends. That was really interesting. Very interesting. My other favorite part was the campsite was really nice. As you can see, it's very wooden in here. And it was a, just a really pretty campsite. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful park and interesting history. Click on subscribe to follow our adventures and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.